Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to install remote desktop services. So this would be the terminal server within Windows Server 2022. Now, before we get into that, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so I'm on Windows Server 2022 right now. This is a licensed copy of Windows Server 2022, and I'm logged in as the domain administrator. Now we're just gonna open Server Manager, and we can click the search bar, it's gonna show up right there. And we're gonna do a role and feature-based installation. So where it says Manage in the top right, we'll click Add Roles and Features. And then here we are in the Add Roles and Features wizard. It should be somewhat familiar to you if, if you've already configured the server as a domain controller. So we'll just go ahead and click next on the first two pages and then make sure that your uh, server here is selected. All right, and then we'll hit next. We're gonna click remote desktop services. We'll hit next. And then again, just hit next on these next few pages. And then here's where we get these services. So unless you're doing uh, something special, the first four are all the services that we're gonna need. So we're gonna click and add features on the first four. And we can just go ahead and click through the rest of this here. Same thing on role services. We get a little confirmation page and we're just gonna go ahead and hit install. All right, and we'll come back when this is done. Now it says you must restart the destination server to finish the installation. So we'll hit close. And then using the uh, start menu here, we'll just go ahead and manually do that restart. All right, so now we're logging back onto the server after the restart. Uh, we're gonna sign in again as administrator. All right, so once we're back in and our remote desktop services, uh, we can see it right here in the server pool. So we know that it has installed successfully. We can go to tools from the server manager and we're just gonna hit uh, users and computers. Now I'm gonna create a user for the purpose of uh, demonstration here. So I'm just gonna right click new user and we'll call this user Ben. All right, and then here I just put ben at indigodomain.com for our login information. I'm gonna uncheck the first box here, and then I'm gonna check the middle two, and we're just gonna go ahead and set that password. We'll hit next and finish. Cool, and then we'll go to the bulletin here, and where it says remote desktop, we want that group. We're gonna right click on this and hit properties and members. And then here we can add our new user Ben to the group. So we'll type Ben, hit check names, Boom, okay. We'll hit apply and we'll hit okay. All right, we're gonna open our run window now. It's Windows key and R. We're gonna type GP update and press enter. All right, and once the policy has updated successfully, we're now gonna go to the client machine. All right guys, so once we're on our client machine, we're gonna hit Windows key and R together and we'll type the following MSTSC, which is gonna bring up that remote desktop connection. All right, and then we just enter the computer name here and we'll press connect. Now we're prompted for credentials. We're gonna put in uh, Ben, which was our created user and the password associated with it. All right, and then here we have a certificate warning. I'm just gonna hit yes on this. And just like that, we're joined uh, via remote desktop to our Windows Server 2022 domain. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. In the next video, we're gonna show you guys how to activate RDS on Windows Server 2022, so stay tuned for that. Again, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server 2022 or RDS licenses or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links in the description box below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.